Hi, I'm Reverend Nick from Clarence Valley Anglican School. God be with you. Hi, this is Rev David from Bishop Druitt College. The Lord be with you. Hi, Rev Sal here from Emmanuel Anglican College. The Lord be with you. Hi, this is Rev Naomi Cook coming to you from Bishop Druitt College in Coffs Harbour. The Lord be with you. My name is Constantine Osuchuku, a chaplain at Lindisfarne Anglican Grammar School in Terra Noran Tweed Head South. The Lord be with you and also with you. This video is an online chapel that's been put together by the chaplains of the schools of the Anglican Diocese of Grafton. Our schools range from Port Macquarie in the south all the way up to Tweed Heads in the north. The chaplains are a diverse bunch of people and we'd love to say hello and greet you today. Today's Bible reading is from the book of Micah, chapter 6. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? The theme of our chapel service today is the communion of saints, which is a term that refers to all the people throughout history and alive today who are doing their best to apply their deep faith into the world in love. Some of these saints are famous and some of them are only ever known by a few people. Some of them live a life of leadership and some of them live a life of solitude and prayer. If you were to think about who the saints of today are, I wonder who they might be. I really like the understanding of saints as people through whom the light of God shines. And when I think about that, one person comes to mind and that's this darling old nun called Sister Vincent. She came into my life when I was about five, um, offering me care and love um, after my grandmother died. The thing I love about Sister Vincent's story is that she was an elderly nun in my head anyway, when I was five, um, but her life before I knew her was absolutely amazing. She was a nun in the time of long habits with the tight face wimple and the long um, hood thing. And she worked in as a Sister of Mercy in Papua New Guinea. So Sisters of Mercy are sometimes teachers, sometimes nurses, sometimes they're just there as general helpers. Papua New Guinea high country is particularly difficult to get into and being the can-do woman that she is, Sister Vincent spent her time there with her habit hitched up into her belt, riding a Triumph motorcycle all around the mountain country so that she could get to the villages that you know needed a teacher or needed some medical help or needed just an extra pair of hands. Um, she moved back to Casino, you know, when I was a little tacker, but, but her story and the stories she told me were phenomenal. She told me stories of great love and God's great love for me and how through the most ordinary of things, the light of God shines through. So sometimes when I'm feeling ordinary, I'm reminded of what Sister Vincent said and how we can be those saints where the light of God shines through us. My friends, a saint is not a person in whom everybody sees God, but rather a person who sees God in every person. I've known a lot of saints in my life, some of them canonized, some of them ordinary next door neighbors, like you and me, people I live and work with. But for the sake of this you know, video, I want to talk to you about a young man, Carlo Acutis. He was only 15 when he died in 2006 in Milan. He lived his young life to the full. He loved information technology taught himself you know how to program and he did a lot of programming he played video games you know he you know looked after his mates he cared for people he lived and worked with and when he was diagnosed with leukemia his mom said to him carlo are you afraid to die and he said mom i'm not because i've lived every day of my life doing the things that god wants me to do and then he said to his mom in a line that have really moved me he said, Mom, God made us originals, but many die as photocopies. To me, that's really what it means to be a saint, 
to be your authentic self, to be the person that God has made you to be. That's what Carlo Acutis did. He lived authentically the life that God has given him. So as we celebrate the communion of the saints, let us learn from Carlo to be the people that God has made us to be. And let us learn to see God in every person. And so become originals, not for the copies. Thank you. The contemporary saint that I have chosen is Michael Kirby. Michael Kirby was a justice of the High Court of Australia. He demonstrated a lifelong commitment to human rights using his position to advocate for the rights of others. Michael Kirby is a man of strong faith and ethics and says that the religious tradition that he grew up in always had space for people having different views. In his work, he came to believe that the rule of law, if it means merely enforcing the law, is not good enough. There was plenty of room for law, but not always respect for human life and dignity. Michael Kirby remains involved in the issues of human rights of minorities and believes that not to respect the human rights of people who are slightly different diminishes the majority. Speaking on leadership, he says that good leaders should have courage, empathy for others and clear-sightedness. His advice to potential leaders would be to maximise the qualities of goodness and to seek out service to everyone without discrimination. To do one's best in one's occupation. To keep the mind open to new ideas especially be alert to the enormous impacts of science and technology on human understanding. And finally, he says, not to forget to have fun in life. Life is not a dress rehearsal. The Lord be with you. One of the people that inspires me as a person of faith is a woman called St. Teresa of Avila. And St. Teresa lived in Spain in the 1500s which is a long time ago and a long way away. She discovered that when she was still and quiet, she could hear and experience God. And when she heard and experienced God, Teresa had clarity and peace and she knew a deep love in herself. So she came up with a special way of praying so that all her friends and everybody could experience this same clarity and love and peace in their own lives. I'd love to share with you today about some of the ordinary people around me at my school who actually might embody the qualities of saints. There's a student who I've known since she was year seven and she is now about to graduate. And she, the whole time I've known her, has always been one of the first people to, to volunteer to help in any capacity, especially if it's got to do with social justice or service of others. Her particular passion has been serving and encouraging those from the refugee and migrant community. And that's been a real inspiration. I know that she has got significant faith. And what I admire about her is that she lives out her faith in service of others. As you look around you, you might see a whole lot of people at your school and in your community and in your family who really live out their faith with action. These are the saints of today. Let us pray. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Amen. I will bless you with this beautiful blessing from the book of Numbers chapter 6 beginning at verse 24 may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you may the lord lift up his countenance upon you and all those you love and give you his peace amen go in peace go in faith go to love and go to serve to remember the grace of the air in your lungs, 
and to know the glory of the sunshine on your skin and to shine in your God-given radiance and to bless the world with good news. In the name of Jesus. Amen.